Can come to these things. No, I'm, we're not going to talk about what was uh, any of the contents or, or any of that. Can you say if she answered the questions and what do you mean by to the best of her recollection? Did yeah, that's the best any human being could do, right? <laughs> did she say she didn't remember a lot of things? Uh, I'm not going to talk about any of the testimony. Right now, I, I meant to make no comment about um, uh, her capacity to remember. If I did, I uh, please correct that. Uh, we, we, are, we are all subject to only the, our capacity to hold thoughts in our own mind, and she uh, did, did her best uh, to do that, and I appreciate her having voluntarily come here to do that. Yeah. How, how much part coming as a witness? Did she answer all the you questions? Know, I don't have anything to say about the, the, the content or the nature of it. She uh, felt it was productive? Yeah, well, absolutely. How much harder is your job now, given <laughs> the comments from various Republicans, we all know who they are, over the last couple of weeks about the nature of this committee, about its intentions, how much harder is your job to find out what you want to find out in these rooms? Yeah, no harder and no easier. None. We have, a, we, have, we, have a, we have a simple mission, right? A complex task, but a simple mission. And that doesn't change, doesn't make a difference what anybody says about the activities that our committee undertakes. We, we, are, we have a focused mission that has not changed one, one bit since May of 2014, and I promise you, won't change today, won't change next Thursday, and this investigation will go on after next Thursday. You all may lose interest. You may stop clicking cameras, but this committee won't stop. We have, a, we have a task. We're going to complete it. When we present that, I am confident that the American people will say this was a professionally conducted investigation, and they helped enlighten America about how this happened, how people can be held accountable, and made it less likely that something like this could ever happen again. And how much harder to convince the public when that day comes that, that this is a worthwhile I, investigation? You all, you, all, you all write about that. I, I have a mission. I'm not in the game of predicting what others might say. We, we know what our task is, and I'm confident the American people will see that we executed that task. Do you know how well, much longer or you anticipate the investigation to continue after Thursday? In some sense, it's out of our own control, right? I mean, do you feel like you could do it by the end of the year? Uh, I mean, is there it, all turn, it all turns on when we can get the materials that we uh, are uh, committed to getting on behalf of the American people. We, we, would, we would be much further along had the State Department not stonewalled us completely for months and months on end. And we, had we not learned that many of the documents were not in the possession of the State Department at the time we requested them. So I, I can't tell you how much longer to go on. I don't know. Do you when, when we're done, you'll be the first to see the report. Do, do you expect members of the committee at the hearing with Clinton next week to ask her about the origin of her private server and why she decided to set up the private oh, I don't, server? Oh, I, I, I don't know what will. I, don't, I couldn't tell you what the contents of next Thursday will look like. Um, I, but other than to say, you will find that the questions are deeply related to the task that we have before us, each and, each and every one of them. Why have you had a heck of a time getting the documents? Because they didn't want us to have them. What are they <laughs> right? I mean, look, look, because, because the State, there, were, there were multiple reasons, probably, to be fair to the State Department. There's a lot of material that they had to review. Um, but it is also the case that there were a group of those documents that um, weren't in their possession. And they were in the possession of Secretary Clinton. And so there was a lot of work to do. Democrats on the committee have accused your side of uh, designing selective leaks in order to nurture a certain impression in the public of Clinton. How do you respond to that? Yeah, I, I haven't seen it. I just they think they're wrong. So there haven't been any selective leaks? I, 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 not, not, though, not to my knowledge. I certainly haven't participated in them. I, but I, I guess I can't speak. You'd have to tell me what the exact point was. Look, the Democrats, unfortunately, uh, throughout this entire time, uh, have not lifted a single finger to help us uncover the facts surrounding the death of these four Americans. They haven't asked for a document. They haven't sought a witness. Um, they, they, have, they, have not, they, have not, they have not, in good faith, participated in the, well, this, you asked me the question. Do you feel that you're going to, to cross any new ground or, or get any kind of new information at this hearing on Thursday? You know, Hillary Clinton yes, has I'm, already been in front of committees uh, asking questions about the Benghazi it, It's true, that's the last question I'm gonna take. It is true, she has testified before previous committees uh, none of the documents that were in her possession were available to any of those committees at the time those committees had the opportunity to ask questions to her. So yes, I think, I think we have the ability to flesh out many of the details surrounding this. Thank you all. No, I, I've, I've got to go. Sorry. Are you finished with that? Thank you.